going on a trip last weekend. I'm telling you how was it? Because my dad is asking me to suggest a place where I was going to eat this holiday. Yes, sure. It's a three-day trip to Sulawesi, Indonesia. Sulawesi is an Indonesian island located on the east of Borneo. It's known for coral reefs and dive sites. But since Sulawesi is the world's level largest island, so we only took a trip to their main city, which is Makassar. Makassar, also known as Ujung Padang, is a port city located on the eastern of Indonesia's Sulawesi island. Flight took us around 3 hours and 25 minutes from Malaysia to Makassar, Sulawesi, Indonesia. On our first day, we took a visit to what was called Ramang Ramang Maros or Stone Forest. This place is a one hour drive from the Makassar airport and one and a half an hour drive from the main city Makassar. Ramang Ramang Maros has a cast mountains that were formed by limestone erosion over the ages and they've been settled since prehistoric times. They also have the biggest karst areas in the world. Go on a boat trips right to the Pute River. This is one of the most popular ways to explore Rama. You can fit 6 people per boat and the ride take around 20 minutes. The river views are amazing to see. After the boat ride, we go on to explore Goa Bulu Baroka. This is a small cave with some prehistoric painted art. If you look around, there are two ancient handprints left here by humans in age of past. Quite interesting, isn't it? For the whole day, we only spent our time here, with the night at one of their nearby homestay which is Ramang Ramang Eco Lodge. Food options here are quite limited so we just eat at their provided cafe. Our second day, we leave Ramang Ramang and start headed toward the city. Our journey there took around one hour. When we had arrived, we checked in first to our hotel which is called the Rindra. After we already settled down, we decided to continue on our next location which is to go to Sombu Opu. Sombu Opu is a district located in the Goa Regency, South Sulawesi, Indonesia and is part of the Greater Makassar area. City is near the city of Makassar. On Sombu Opu, we go on to visit their historical place which is called Fort Ben Goa Sultanate or with more well-known name as Benteng Somba Opu. Benteng Somba Opu is 20 minutes by car from Makassar. It was built in 1525 by the Sultan of Goa the 9th and later destroyed by the Dutch East India in 1669. Finish visiting Benteng Sombu Opu, we decided to stop by the Masjid Agon Sheikh Yusuf to perform prayers. Well, what about you, Anand? What did you do while they are day? Actually, Masjid Agon Sheikh Yusuf is not only for the Muslims to perform their prayers. It's also one of the many tourist attractions that are busy being visited. But of course, for the non-Muslims, they must follow the proper dress code or dress appropriately before entering the mosque. A few facts about this mosque is that it was built in 1948 until 1949 and was later renovated in 1999 over a six-year period. This mosque can fit over 10,000 worshippers. To end off our second day trip, we headed to Pantai Loresi. It's a favorite stop for the local people or even tourists who are all there to enjoy a beautiful sunset. On our last day, we decided to do some extreme activity by going on a hike to one of the famous mountains here called Mount Bawakarang. It took us quite some time to go there, but we all decided that it's going to be worth it. Before heading back to Malaysia, we decided to stop at Jalan Somba Oku. Jalan Somba Opu is a must to visit when it comes to buying a souvenirs. Not also that, Jalan Somba Opu has expanded to cover a wide range of retail activities. They also offer a variety of food stalls.
When we had satisfied from shopping and walking around, it was time to head back to Malaysia. Going back home already made me start to miss the place. Our trip was one of the most unforgettable memories that I will remember forever. I'm glad that you guys had fun. Anyways, thanks for being such a help guys. I will make sure to tell my family about this. Great that we can be helpful. You're welcome, honey.